Hello all good people of the world. Welcome to my introductory video about Razer's Edge, software application developed by a company known as Blackbot, to which, by the way, I do not have any affiliation whatsoever, and that's why anything presented in this video is strictly based on my personal understanding. The reason why I decided to make this short video is because when I was trying to become familiar with the application myself, I noticed that I was missing that kind of short introductory video. And uh, yes, I acknowledge that Blackbot actually provides a lot of very helpful materials. But the problem with them for me was that they were very long and they took a lot of time to go through them. For example, a PDF file, which is a very comprehensive, very detailed piece of information, but it is over 300 pages. And then also there is a video on an official YouTube channel by Blackbot. And again, this video is over one hour. So it really gives you a little bit of headache if you want to go through them. Let's start with answering the question, who uses Razor's Edge and why? Razor's Edge is made for nonprofit organizations to help them seamlessly organize their workflow. So let's say nonprofits, they have a lot of things going on behind the scenes. They attract donations, they manage contributions, they keep track of their volunteers, they keep track of their members, etc. etc. And if you run a nonprofit organization, you need to know who gave you this particular donation, when you communicated with that person. You may want to keep track of the mail that you sent to the members of your organization or to the people who donated anything to your organization, including equipment or actual help or anything at all. So, for tracking and managing all of this, you need a system which Razor's Edge is. And before going any further, let me quickly elaborate on the main terms that I used and adopted with this particular software. So, one first thing is constituent. Constituent is any person, company, organization, entity, body, group of people, whatever, that can be considered a contributor to the nonprofit organization. The second term that is used with the software is called a gift. Gift, by definition, is anything that comes to the nonprofit organization. And again, that not necessarily be any money, that can also be labor, it can be knowledge, whatever it is, if a constituent does something for the organization or gives anything to the organization, this is a gift. As you can see, gifts are very important for nonprofits because they help nonprofits finance and drive their existence. Nonprofits want to maximize the amount of gifts that they receive. And for that purposes, they send so-called appeals to their constituents. Appeals are basically invitations to constituents to donate more gifts. These appeals are organized into campaigns throughout the year or minor funds, which are components of the campaigns. Constituents, gifts, campaigns, funds and appeals are probably the terms that can sound unfamiliar to anyone who just opens Razor's Edge at the first time. And now when we just covered them, let's go to the actual interface. I would say that Razor's Edge becomes fairly intuitive once you get the general idea. Razor's Edge is normally organized into three areas which help you move around. The first area is the left side of the screen. It can be rearranged, by the way, but let's just consider the default view. On the left side of the screen, you can see Home, Records, Query, Export, Reports, Mail, and some other sections. As you can see, the sections are quite self-explanatory, and the main ones that we need to consider right now to understand a general workflow with the Razor's Edge are records, queries, reports, and mail. We are skipping the home section because it is just a collection of favorites. It is very useful, but it's not very useful for the understanding of how the application works. So we go into records. Under records, you can see that after you click it, it opens another second tab. And that is a normal behavior for Razor's Edge, which you can expect with other sections too. 
Now, as you can see, under the records section, we have constituents, gifts, and other subsections. That's where you can edit or add information about the constituents, which, as we discussed earlier, are any individuals or companies who contribute to your organization. The same is about gifts. Here you can add new gifts or edit the existing gifts or search for them, etc. So with the records, you manage tracking of your people and funds. You may feel a little hesitant about how difficult it is to actually fill out each individual profile. So let's quickly take a look at that. It is extremely easy. You just open the profile of any individual constituent or a gift or anything else that you can find in this subsection and just go through the tabs. Basically follow the tabs and you will not be mistaken. The general idea is that the more information you add, the more information you will be able to use later and build more advanced reports, make more advanced queries. Now other sections of Razor's Edge are usually a collection of similar forms which you work with in this or different way. So let's go back to the main screen. As I mentioned earlier, we also may want to pay extra attention to queries, reports and mail. It is so fairly easy that I don't even want to complicate things by opening the sections and walking you through them just to keep things simpler. Instead, I want to concentrate on relationship between those sections. So as you already understand, we need to fill out the details for records. Now, if you have only 10 or 15 constituents or gifts, this is very simple. You don't need to care about anything too much. You may probably even remember things. But let's imagine that you have 100 constituents and each one of them donates something to your organization. So after six months, that is already over 500 donations and now you have over 500 entries for that. And there the information becomes more involved. And for certain reasons, you may want to filter this information to understand who donated a lot of money, who donated just a little bit. And you want to distinguish between those individuals so that you can probably send them different letters. That's one of the examples when you use queries. Queries is a straightforward tool that helps you filter and select records which match the criteria that you're having in mind. Now, after that, you can either apply that particular query to a report and you can generate a report based on your query. Or you can generate reports on the performance of your campaigns and the performance of your constituents. And ultimately, you can work with your constituents by sending mail to them, acknowledgement letters, sending receipts, and definitely sending appeals to raise even more gifts to help your organization achieve its purpose. Now, I believe that we already have a general idea of how Razor's Edge works. Again, so you fill out your records, you keep them accurate, you keep them up to date. Whenever you need to select any particular records, you may want to build a query. Also, you apply reports to your records so that you can evaluate the performance of your campaigns and activity of your constituents and gifts. And you use this mail section to communicate with your constituents. Fairly easy. Now you are well equipped for doing literally anything with Razor's Edge. And whenever you have any specific question, you can go straight to the tutorial, which is the PDF file, or to the video, or to any extra materials, and just check on the specific question that you have. Basically, this is how it works for any software. You need to get the general idea. And then when you have actual tasks, you learn the tips and minor tricks, which help you move on with everything faster and handle the questions more efficiently. This is it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more efficient videos. And bye for now.